Hi everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make delicious natural popsicles at home. I have a more fruit based variety and a more vegetable green based variety, but trust me, they're both absolutely delicious and you won't be able to even taste the veggies, I promise. So the red popsicle is made with strawberries, pineapple, and mint, as well as a little bit of watermelon juice. And the green popsicle is made with kale, mangoes. So if you wanna see how to make these for yourself, go ahead, keep watching. So for the red popsicles, you will need some popsicle molds. I just got mine at TJ Maxx. About four cups of strawberries, a quarter of a pineapple or about a cup, some fresh mint sprigs, and liquid of your choice. Today I'm using a watermelon mint juice. So as you can see, I'm just cutting my pineapple up and I am keeping the core. Um, the pineapple core contains high levels of bromelain, which is known for um, promoting healthy digestion. It's known for its anti-inflammatory and anti-clogging properties. And pineapple is also an excellent source of vitamin C and other antioxidants, which help boost your immune system. So I keep the core. I'm just going to throw everything into the blender here. So I've got my pineapple, my strawberries, my mint, and my juice. Put the lid on and go ahead and just blend away. So then I'm going to take my drink and pour it into my popsicle molds, put the popsicle sticks in top, and then just put everything in the freezer overnight. Let's move on to the green ones. So you will need four to five leaves of kale. I'm using Italian kale or dinosaur kale, but you can use any type that you'd like. I'm using about a cup of pineapple, one small Granny Smith's apple, the juice from one small lime, or you can use the juice of half a large lime, a third cup of mango, and then some coconut water. I'm using a mango coconut water from Bolt House Farms today. So once again, um, just throw everything in the blender. Um, kale is fantastic. It's packed with tons of antioxidants, vitamins and minerals, including iron, calcium, and vitamins A, K, and C. It also has anti-inflammatory properties, and it's filled with fiber um, and sulfur, which is great for detoxifying your body. So just throw everything in there and blend, blend, blend. Oh, look at that beautiful green color. Um, so once again, just go ahead and pour the mixture into your popsicle molds, put the sticks on top, and then that's what they look like. I'm just going to throw these in the freezer overnight once again. All right guys, so I'm back. So it's been overnight. The popsicles have been in the freezer and this is what they look like. I'm super excited to get started. So let's just run these under some hot water and do a quick taste test. All right, so these are the two popsicles. Remember, this is the kale and mango popsicle and this is the strawberry pineapple mint popsicle. So let's go ahead and give these a taste. I smell the strawberries in this, it smells amazing. Oh my god, so good. You can definitely taste the strawberry, but you get that little like extra zesty kick from the pineapple and just like the crisp freshness of the mint. Oh my gosh. Mmm, so, so, so good. So now for the green popsicle, which looks scary, but I promise it just smells really good. Oh my god. Oh wow, mm. you can taste like the mango. I guess besides looking at the color, you would never like taste this and be like, this tastes like vegetables or salad. You just get like that crispness, kind of like the mint. It's very like, I guess like crisp, fresh, refreshing, just really, really good. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. So highly, highly recommend. So those are the popsicles. I hope you guys give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you make any of these recipes or any other popsicle recipes, I would love to see your photos. Feel free to send me a photo 
on Twitter or on Instagram. Uh, I will have all those links down below for you guys. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please make sure to do so. I really appreciate it. Any other recipes or video ideas that you guys have, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. And then be sure to visit crushingonclothes.com. That is my lifestyle website where I post three to four times a week. I hope you guys are well and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.